when I was younger, ang success sa akin, makarating ako sa ganitong level ng tapos sa isod. Para papuntahan ko ito. Mm-hmm. Right now, it's more than that. Success mm-hmm. for me is making sure I enable other people to be successful too. Mm-hmm. And we are not perfect. Uh, mapapagod lang tayo if all of us try to uh, try to make our lives perfect. At the end of the day, hindi natin control lahat. Si Lord lang nakakakontrol. Right. Hello mga ka-global! Welcome to another episode of the Global Filipino Magazine's Kwento ng Tagumpay. And at this point, let's meet the Filipino head of logistics for Gulf Coca-Cola beverages covering UAE, Qatar, Bahrain, and Oman. Working overseas has been a goal for our guest and his wife as they built their own family. For nearly one year, he has been living in the UAE and working as the head of logistics for Gulf Coca-Cola Beverages. He is responsible for the design and governance of all logistics and operations and excellence organizations of GCCB. Let's welcome in the house right now, Mr. Ricardo Amante Jr. Ricky, for short. Ricky, yes. Pati mo na natin yung mga ano natin ka global. Um, good day, mga ka-global. It's very nice to be um, invited here yeah, to share my you, stories. Yes. So I feel honored, especially sharing the stories to all our kababayan. Okay, off we were talking about your uh, arrival in Dubai. Yes. Wala pang one year pala. Wala pang one year. Tell uh, us the story about it. Um, well, mainit. Kasi <laughs> the timing was like April. It was summer. It was summer. Uh, but we, I knew the news since January last year, that will be so that we, I will be assigned here. Assigned. So it's a big decision for the family, though we prepared for it. Kasi, How did you prepare for it? Um, uh, way back, kasi my, my wife is also working as, in, uh, 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 as a corporate HR person. So we anticipated that we will be point that we will be assigned outside oh. the country. The opportunity came. Uh, nung binigay yung opportunity, wala pa talagang name kung saan country. Ang minention lang, Middle East. Okay. Okay, so I clueless ako saan sa Middle East, pero since it's a very good opportunity, uh-huh. I said yes. Okay. Pero hindi rin siya immediate, uh, when I say yes, ayun na ganyan kasi there will be a lot of uh, processes pa rin uh, okay. before mapunta dito. So, yun, um, I got confirmed to be here and I'm happy to be here leading the four countries um, of GCCB, right? Gulf Coca-Cola Beverages. Okay, so that's the reason why you opted to uh, to work abroad, right? Yes. Because yes. the company sent you, the same company, to, right? Yes, yes, same company. Um, it's, an, it's another challenge because in the Philippines, I handle also logistics, uh, the, mm. uh, the warehouses. Mm. Uh, mas malaki, mas marami. Mm-hmm. But dito, the complexity is you deal with different nationalities. Ano yung difference since you came, uh, ano pa, fresh ka pa? So may mga napansin ka ng difference uh, of living here, working here. Ano, ano yung mga? A, a lot of uh, plus and minuses. I'll mm-hmm. start with the plus. <coughs> yung plus niya is, uh, Dubai is very convenient. I, I am based in Dubai. So every, my family is here with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a good opportunity. Um, it's a wide role because uh, it's not lang one country I handle for. Yung, yung cons naman niya, since I'm handling a bigger responsibility, mm-hmm. siya expectations are higher. Mm-hmm. The adjustment? I'm, mm-hmm. We're still in the adjustment period pa, no, mm-hmm. no family ko. Kasi summer din eh. Summer? So, First summer? <laughs> spend your time. Nagulat ako sa summer dito. Oh, diba? As in literally, nag- nosebleed ako. Okay. Kasi uh, during that time also may May mga transition na nangyari sa work um, and I had to travel and look, uh, check my, the sites also. Ang init, oh. and ginawan ko rin yung kainit sa Pilipinas. Okay. Pero at least I survived, we survived. Do you have any idea how long are you going to stay? Uh, meron bang ganon in Dubai? Uh, um, for this kind of assignment that you have right now? Actually, wala, wala siyang um, like a, a, a contra or a period uh-huh. or something. So it's more of um, trying to learn muna the role. Mm-hmm. Um, and then so far, I'm, I'm enjoying, I'm, I know I'm contributing. And this is a big, uh, no, uh, parang responsibility. Big, resp- big responsibility. At the same time, maganda rin siya na um, really training for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, exposure also. Um, different landscape, totally different landscape. Uh, by the way, yung isa pang plus dito, ang dami natin kababayan dito. Everything, ah, okay. diba? So, so nakaikot ka na? Nakaikot na ako. So, most of the size we have, kabayans also. Um, working from... 
the manufacturing, sa planta, sa warehouse, meron din tayo ng mga uh, uh, kabayan. Okay. So, Gano'ng katagal ka na connected sa, sa Coke? Sa company. Actually, um, Coke around 4 years before that Procter & Gamble. Um, uh -huh. 13 years ako sa Coke. Ah, 14 years in Procter & Gamble. So, I'm doing supply chain for 18 years, wow. more or less, after getting out of college. Uh, so, I graduated sa... Actually, Ibeda. no, no, University of the Philippines, UP, chemical engineering. Uh -huh. um, so, but I did not practice yung hardcore chemical engineering. Okay. Well, yung research ko sa Ibeda. <laughs> it's okay. No, yung San Beda is okay. my diploma course. Uh -huh. So I took um, an under after uh, while I'm working also in the Fili in uh, in the Philippines, I took time to attend to a diploma course. San Beda yun. Oh. Uh, so Phil Philippine Institute of Supply Management. During the pandemic, uh, San Beda. Yun, so I finished that course, so that's also another. So what do you enjoy most about this job? It's unpredictable. Um, yung logistics kasi talks about um, the flow. Making sure that you are the enabler of flow. Flow, mm -hmm. when you make the products flow from one point to another, pag ma-deliver mo sa customer from the bodega mm -hmm. to the customer. You have to make sure and then siya. So, Dealing with people, kasi biggest um, um, biggest enabler ng isang organization, and normally biggest population sa isang company, mga mm -hmm. logistics, mm -hmm. mga tao sa supply chain. Mm -hmm. So even 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 uh, here in in the Philippines. <coughs> mm -hmm. So Filipino Institute, di ba we have our short course about ano logistics, no? Ah, yeah. you did. Yeah, and supplies. Yeah, yes, I'm also. Okay, so yung pala yun, no? And what do you like about uh, you have lasted a year now? So, what are you working overseas? Working overseas? Sa <laughs> Marami. Because um, kami, kami 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 fellow chemical engineers at CSS School from the universities uh -huh. are here also. But since alam naman natin yung buhay dito sa UAE and sa, sa GCC, hindi mo naman sila lagi makakasama. So, uh -huh. What we enjoyed is, kami, kami kami lang now, we are enjoying things. Lalo kami nang mas naging bonded actually, natuwa ako. Uh -huh. uh, kami lang kasi, not like sa Pilipinas, we have all the help that we can. Uh -huh. Diba? Sa tawag lang. Sa tawag lang. But here abroad, Sure. What were the struggles you have endured before you have settled the fights and battles? How did you overcome it? And who were with you during these trying times? Who were you looking up to? I know why. Young struggles, uh, I would say normal struggles, normal. Uh, it's it's part of the job, part of the work, naman. Hindi pero hindi naman siya yung something that hinders me to go here, hindered me to go here. Hindi, wala namang ganun. Okay. Kasi look, um, in any in any organization, especially ours, I'm thankful na nakaplano talaga yung, uh, nakaplano yung the direction of the career. You just have to make sure you, you perform. Um, you have the right support there. So, um, yung struggle is more on adjusting here, initially. Whether, uh, tapos, yun nga, kami lang, as a family, malilit pa yung mga anak ko. We, hindi namin nakuha yung helper agad. Eh. Wala pa kaming helper sa ngayon. Sa ngayon. So What's your plan? We're planning. Uh, mukhang may changes yata sa sa, ano, sa So, <laughs> they're supposed to be here uh, December. So, ayun. Hindi rin kami nakauwi pa nung Pasko. But the, the, the family went here. Yung mga in-laws na, in ko. Uh -huh. Instead of us going to the Philippines, sila yung bumisita sa amin. Pero you're given the opportunity to visit, to go home every year. Yes, pero right? naman. Paano na explain yung ganung feeling? Kasi dito extreme, may, may parang uh -oh. may sinaswerte, may hindi naman masyadong sinaswerte. So sa isang, ano, sa isang klase ng, ano, ng family or family status, let's say, it, na naninirahan sa abroad, ano yung mga uh, complexities and other... Bukod dun sa, ano, sa wala kang, sa Pilipinas, wala kang tayo, may mga yaya tayo, oh, mga, oh. Ano. So how do you manage about it? First of all, yung... Uh, nung nabibit ko yung mga uh, friends ko. We don't share the same stories. Um, ang, uh, sa, sila, I heard stories na talagang medyo nag-struggle sila. So, I, ako I, and my, my family, um, we feel so blessed na we started really hindi ganun kahirap. 
uh, in terms of um, the things that we need. Uh, yes, we don't have. We may not have the help here. Uh, so there are some the new helpers. Uh, um, the kids are uh, in the right school. Mm -hmm. Tapos we are settled in a, a comfortable place. Mm -hmm. So more on ano lang. Ex na excited ako na pag nakikita ako ng mga ng mga Pinoy, especially not not only sa work but also everywhere. Hearing their stories, kasi hindi rin ako nagsimula sa ganito agad eh. So, um, after, actually even, even during college, uh, uh, hindi naman kami well of family. So, I lived through scholarship also sa UP. I had to, I had to strive. I had to, um, you know, graduate with, uh, namamaintain ko yung, ano, kasi mawawala yung scholarship. So, that drive and also, ako yung pinakamatanda sa magkakapatid namin. So, I had to, Lead by example. Uh -huh. So the yung struggle ko, tapos yung trabaho, and then it's more of just making sure you are clear with your dream and you work hard to achieve that dream. Three. Yes. But this is the first time that you went out. The, in my role in uh, Procter and Gamble, and then either, also in Coca Cola. Um, I handle some regional and global roles then, kasi. So, um, I, and then... With yeah, your family as well? No, without my family. Okay. Short business trips lang. Ayun. The longest, siguro, mga two weeks. Okay. Pero not like now. Oh, not like now. Not that like now, no, I'm here. Based in Dubai, you have assignments in different uh, uh, GCC. Yeah. So, may ibang, may kakaibala. Iba. Because you will be leaving your family for a while. Ayun, ayun pala. Tama. <laughs> yun yung nalala ko. So, uh -oh. that's one of the struggles. Uh -oh. Kasi, um, for a while, kailangan ko silang mm -hmm. iwanan. Mm -hmm. so, last year, um, part kami ng FIFA. Eh. So, mm -hmm. we we're, were the official sponsor yeah, of FIFA. So, uh, oh, so, I had to focus m m m some time in Qatar. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, my family is here mm -hmm. in, in, in Dubai. So, but um, overall, it, okay naman. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we survived and it's, sabi ko nga, we, we feel so blessed na everything is taken care of. How do you define uh, Success. Success for me, actually, success for me now at this point is more of making sure you create significance. Eh. It's not it's not a an end destination, but it's the journey uh -huh. and the the legacies and the mark that you leave uh -huh. for people, for organizations. Na during that journey, uh -huh. but because people, uh, some some people, but different. When I was younger. Ang success sa akin, makarating ako sa ganitong level ng tapos sa isod or papuntahan ko ito. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's more than that. Success mm -hmm. for me is making sure I enable other people to be successful too. Mm -hmm. And uh, mag 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 <coughs> maging inspiration sa kanila. Mm -hmm. uh, yun. So, it, kaya ang success is a continuous, is a continuous pursuit. Hindi, mm -hmm. siya, hindi siya tapos na successful na ako ngayon because I achieved. Mm. And I believe that your wife, for sure, has a very important role for you in becoming who you are right now. Yes, so she's my strongest uh, supporter. Siya yung uh, talagang literally, very, very, ano lang, very mushy. Siya yung literally, <laughs> wow, wind beneath my wings, something like that. So, ganun kami, ka, ano lang, partners talaga kami, uh, life partners, supportahan yeah. talaga. Shout out. I think it's important, no? especially for the people, the, the couple or family who is based in, who is based abroad. Yeah. Right? Importante talaga yung tulungan ng yeah. bawat mag-asawa. Uh, because, uh, syempre, abroad may alien, may, may, uh, may tentasyon, di ba? So in your case, I think, one of the uh, best parts of your journey is magkakasama kayo, unlike yung iba. Uh, Kaya yun yung non-negotiable din sa akin. Uh, it's a non-negotiable for me, even how good the role is, if I need to leave the family behind. I cannot do that, and I will not do that. Even sa kanya din. Um, she, she may have received um, uh, offers like this also, nung, nung trabaho siya. Pero it's very clear for us. Um, we will go together, walang iwanan. Kasi yeah. mahirap. So I was about to ask you what advice can you give to our OFWs, like the family status who are here, to, uh, you know, based from the short period of time na nakita mo dito? Um, I wouldn't say yung formula for me can work for all of for that. All, yeah. uh, but what I would say, the generic thing that we need to have is you understand what you want to achieve when you move 
from one place to another. Or, so, ang advice ko is just um, pursue the dream. It is not uh, it's not an easy one, especially kapag nasa labas ka. The hardest part is being away from your family emotionally. But always go to the go to the go back to the the reason why you're here. Why you're here. Go back so to the. Ito si Dali mo eh, sa article about that will be coming out soon. Trust everything to the Lord, but work hard and work smart. Be okay to fail sometimes. It's Stand up, learn, and recover. Enlightened as we can. Yes, yes. So, um, we are not perfect. Uh, mapapagod lang tayo if all of us try to, to be perfect and try to make our lives perfect. At the end of the day, hindi natin control lahat. Si Lord lang makakakontrol. Right. Mm -hmm. um, always nagugulat kami it, um, sa timing ni Lord. Like for example, ito hindi ko inexpect na after the pandemic ng yaya magbibigay sa kanya opportunity. Um, we can always plan, but the bigger plan, the bigger plan for our lives will come from Him. So look, so, so, so surrender everything to Him, but, but of course strive hard. Uh, bibigyan kanya ng pagkakataon, bibigyan ka, ilalag, ilalagay kanya sa mga lugar na hindi mo iniisip na pupuntahan mo. <laughs> So, okay, so let's close this interview by just um, sharing with us your other dreams and plans. So, um, my plan is uh, to be able to, you know, share also whatever I can share. Um, work hard para yung blessing na pinigay sa akin, maging instrument din ako ng blessing for, uh, for others, kami, kami ng family. So, yun, um, in our... In our little ways, we make sure na hindi lang we and our family we can help them to sa sa pwede natin to gawa. And regardless kung kabayan or whoever, like special of course shout out to our kabayans. I I, uh, I think yung impression not only me but the impression ng 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 buong mundo for us is we are very resilient people. Yeah. Uh, resilient in the way na lagi na ina smile. Pero ano tayo talaga? Very person, uh, yung dedicated sa trabaho and yung pinupukos na Thank you very much for those inspiring words na talagang I, as I, I am sure maka-inspire sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin. Especially mga families who are really here in Dubai and struggling. And they think na, ano eh, minsan dumarating yung part na hopeless sila. Because life in, in life abroad isn't easy. It's not like the life that we had in the Philippines. So, this story, I believe, will inspire everyone. Yung kwento ni Ricky will inspire and motivate all of us for sure. We would like to officially welcome you in behalf of the Global Filipino Magazine dito sa Dubai. Thank you. And we hope that uh, maging, successful, maging successful ka pa sa lahat ng mga gagawin mo. Bye everyone! God bless! Let's stay.